Hi, my name is Nermeen. I am currently living in Mountain View in California. Um, I work in the AI industry. I work in the AI industry, which stands for artificial intelligence. Uh, which in short is basically making our software or our hardware devices that use software more intelligent by giving them some of that human logic and integrate it into the actual uh, application. I'm currently working at Java, which produces hearing aids, headsets and video cameras. And what I am specifically working on is enabling those devices to be more intuitive. So for example, if you wanted to uh, interact with your device through hand gestures or through other means um, of human communication that right now are kind of limited by you having to click on a button or having to go to your device, how do we make sure that the device is as intelligent as possible so that you can communicate with it as if you were communicating to another human being? The best aspect of my job is that I get to um, empower the products that come out in the future and have my say in it, especially um, in AI does a lot of gender bias. I think being able to look at that uh, from a female perspective, also as a person of color and put in my two cents as well and in ensure that our voices to a certain extent also heard is, is very empowering. Also just super cool to be part of shaping some of the products that we will use tomorrow and continue to use even more in the future. I'd say right now, um, it is very male dominated. It's not like something I am aware of all the time, but I do feel, um, very lonely sometimes um, because some of the issues that I care about, just for example, the diversity in, in, in the data sets and stuff like that, is not something that I feel like um, everyone in my team or my organization necessarily um, takes to heart as much as I do. And it's not because you don't care about it, but it's just because it's not affecting them as much. And obviously everyone will be more feel more related relatable about issues that impact them and right now uh, gender bias is something that impacts women more and therefore it I think it's something that women are more inclined to to feel passionate about talking about um, and in general I think having more women also will make it feel a little bit more diverse in the workplace it is definitely one certain demographic coming into technology and especially the AI research So I studied artificial intelligence uh, with a minor in user experience at the university, the Technical University of Denmark, um, which is an engineering school. Um, and I actually started whatever interdisciplinary degree I wanted to do movies when I was younger. And I had um, pitched my mom that I could do computer science and movies and I could do some really crazy avatar like movies because I just watched it and I was like, wow, there's really something to do with technology. And I also love movies and cartoons. I was like, oh, I can kind of combine both. And then when I was doing my bachelor's, I realized, oh, I really love computer science and I'd like to learn more about coding and actually get more hands on because obviously, because it was an interdisciplinary degree, I was more learning about the concepts and actually getting to apply them. So I decided to go to Hong Kong and dig really deep into technology and how it's being used in different um, ways. And it was really insightful. And so what I noticed was that there was a lack of human uh, understanding right now when we use technology. Um, I think a lot of us in engineering in good and bad see it as a problem that we want to solve, but it's a pro usually a problem that is met by a human. And if we don't understand the human needs, the gain points to, and understand that we are helping a human through this problem, then we don't really create the best technological solution. We're just creating the most effective one. Um, so that's why I did a minor user experience. And um, how I got to this point, I think I've always been very um, led by a problem solving spirit. My mom always said that I used to play a lot with Legos growing up and I always would try to build up buildings and 
try to fix solutions through this imaginary sword I made out of my Legos. So I think being as imaginative and being as curious as possible definitely led me to being an engineer. I think definitely be as curious as possible uh, and be as imaginative as possible. You don't have to comply with the roles that are currently out there. I think you can shape the role that you'd like to do. If you like fashion and you want to work with tech, you can definitely do with something with fashion tech. If you like movies, you can do something like that. I think don't comply into the stereotype of what is an engineer and what is a career in technology or in STEM. I think you can shape it to be something that is more of a hybrid. I think we're definitely going towards having more hybrid roles where you can combine different interests into the perfect job. But we definitely need more women in STEM. So I think people need to consider that using your social media account or playing Roblox or whatever we do from a young age is being part of technology. So we also be as open minded as possible. And then the last thing that I would give as an advice is having a growth mindset, which is a very adult term for being comfortable with uh, failing. Um, failing is not something that should be uh, scary. Just like when we learned how to bike, you will fall and you will learn from it and then you'll excel and it will just find another challenge that you'll have to jump over. And I think feeling comfortable failing and understanding that problem solving, engineering and STEM is a journey and not a destination will make everyone and especially girls feel more comfortable going into it.